Hi, welcome to art class. Today we're going to make some loop-de-loop -loop trees. Here's my first loop-de-loop -loop tree, and here's my second loop-de-loop -loop tree. We'll make one of each. I'll show you how they're different. For this one, I made all my loop-de-loops separate and not overlapping. So to start, I would get a light colored or white paper, and I like to use pencil, and I'm gonna do the loop-de-loop -loop of the leaves first. I'm going all around making loop-to-loops that do not overlap. There's my loop-to-loops. Next, I'm going to draw the trunk of the tree, going down towards the bottom. After that, I'm going to make some loop-to-loop -loop grass. I decided to color my first loop-de-loop -loop tree in so that I'm using colors that could really be on a tree. You see in my finished one, I used red, green, orange, and yellow. I could have added some brown too. So let's see if we use those colors and maybe some brown. Those are all colors you could see on a real tree. I just chose to spread out my colors in lots of different places and I'm using crayons but you can use whatever you want and I spread out my colors so that you see the colors in lots of different places. Hmm, maybe down here. And I added the same colors for the loop-de-loops. On my loop-de-loops, I did a pattern. So if I have five colors, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna put one here again. So I added also other colors that leaves could be red, And I'm spreading it all over the place. So the red is spread out lots of different places on the tree. And you can always come back and add more of a color if you have more circles. And I added yellow. Spreading it out so it's in lots of different places. Hmm, I think I'm gonna leave it at that and add some yellow down in my loop-de-loop -loop grass. Let's add some green next. Keep coloring until all your loops are colored in. After I colored my loops for the tree and for the grass, I added brown for the trunk of the tree. So that's my first loop-to-loop -loop tree where my loops did not overlap. Let's make one more loop-to-loop -loop tree. I'm gonna go on the back of this one this time I'm going to make my loops overlap and you'll see how it looks a little bit different. I'm still trying to make it so I'm filling up the whole space so I have a big tree. 
symmetry, lots of loops. Next, I'm going to draw the trunk of my tree and some loop to loop grass. There we go. So you see how my loops overlap? So when I colored my second tree with overlapping loops, you can see how it looks different. I think I probably would even add a few more loops to this one. So let's add in a few other loops. Let's make one that goes around here. out here like that oh I like that so the fun of the overlapping loops is that you have two different colors touching each other so let's add in some other colors let's see around I put some orange over here and then think about what's a color that could go around it maybe blue Let's get some blue. Oh, that's a dark blue. That looks really different than my first blue, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. Let's add some more of that blue in a couple places. Sometimes I like to outline the shape and then color it in. I think that's easier for me to do that. Ooh, that looks good. Let's add some more colors. I have pink down here and pink over here. I'm gonna put some pink up here. I'm gonna have to decide if I wanna color in that whole space. Ooh, I think I will. And I think I'll color it yellow. not sure which loop-de-loop -loop tree I like better. If I like the first one where the loops didn't overlap or if I like the second one where the loops do overlap. I think my first one looks uh, maybe a little bit more realistic but my second one I love all the different colors. Hmm what color should we put over here? Hmm we've got the different blues and yellows, maybe some orange. Let's put orange over there. Let's see what other loops I have. I've got a little one here, maybe some pink. Oh, well, I have pink up there. Well, pink seems good to me. What about up here? What color do we not have up there? How about green? Well, we have green nearby, but a little bit of green in there. Now I've got this big space. I'm thinking about, so we have yellow, blue, purple, green, orange. Hmm. Maybe I'll put some brown in there. Ooh, so that's this is not a closed space. So I'm not going to color that in. Maybe a little bit more brown over here. Then I have one more space. Oh, I'm looking at how my colors are spread out. I think I want that lighter blue that I had before. Uh oh. Now I have to find my original blue crayon. It's just called blue. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have lots of different colored blue crayons, but I haven't found my original blue. Oh goodness, where is my blue crayon? 
Did you ever think you could have too many blue crayons? Hmm. Oh well, I'm gonna choose one. I think it's kind of a light colored one. So I'm gonna color it in here. Oh yeah, there we go. That matches my original blue. Uh-oh, it's gonna to touch my original blue. Oh, I didn't even plan for that. So this loop-to-loop -loop tree, the loops were overlapping and I used lots of different colors. And in this loop-to-loop -loop tree, the loops are not overlapping and I just used realistic colors that could be found in leaves on a tree. I hope you enjoyed making loop-to-loop -loop trees.